All right, guys, so today is April 5th, and in this video, we're gonna have some fun. So I got a comment on that last fertilizer video I did maybe a month, month and a half ago, and this video is gonna be an answer to that comment. We're gonna take some petunia cuttings, we're gonna get those little cuttings rooted, and then we're gonna take all those cuttings and compare different fertilizers and see which one works the best in the end. Now before we get started, I wanna make a quick announcement. Real quick, my wife has just started a channel. She's been posting a few videos. I know some of you, are not all of you, but some of you on here are asking, we want to see more of your wife. We want to see more of your kids. We want to see more of what's going on around your place. Well, she's making videos about that kind of stuff and things that she's interested in. So if any of you guys are interested in going over and checking that out, I'll have a link in the description down below. I'll put a card up in the corner here if I can figure that out. Anyway, if you want to check that out, go check it out now. So back to the video. I am actually like a month and a half after. This is the end. I've already done this whole experiment. And here's the result. This is what one of them turned out like. And it's a little bit of a secret. I'm not going to tell you exactly which fertilizer made these results. It might shock you, but I'm doing several different things here. Isn't that beautiful? Those reds and that petunia. So we're going to compare five different cuttings with different fertilizers for each one. And what those are going to consist of are one cutting is going to get nothing, just plain water. One cutting is going to get nothing but miracle grow. Another one's going to get just the, the mother plant part A and B that I showed you in that video. Another one's going to get my mix of everything and then one with just Epsom salt. And we're going to, so what I do here is take clones of the exact same plant so that we know we're going to get identical clones. We know we're going to get the same plants with the same genetic potential so that the only variable is the fertilizer. We've got the same soil, the same everything. We're going to see once and for all which fertilizer is the best. The reason I'm doing this video is because I got a comment after making that specific fertilizer video like a month and a half ago. And here it is. It comes from Brahma Chicken 5000. I would really like to see a side-by-side -side comparison of two of the same type and size plants where you fertilize one plant but not the other. That to me would sell me on the fertilizer. Well, I'll take that bet any day of the week. So even without doing this video, I'm pretty assured that the one that gets the fertilizer is gonna do a lot better than the one that doesn't get the fertilizer, but I've decided to take it a step further and it's a lot of work trying to parse out all these different fertilizers, but we're gonna see exactly which fertilizer works the best and how they do individually. So let's get started now. We're gonna head over, actually we gotta take a trip back in time. Let's get in the Kincaid time machine and do it. We're gonna go back and we're gonna take a bunch of cuttings of this one particular petunia and we're gonna get all these started and then get this project on the road. Let's go. All right, so we're starting out here with our little pot with our soil in it, and I'm getting everything moistened. I'm setting it down in my propagation tote. Now I'm going to take some cuttings, and if you've been watching my petunia videos through the winter, then you know I've got a whole bunch of petunias in that one-gallon pot. They keep growing, and then I cut them back, and they grow, and I cut them back. Now, what I wanted to do was take all of these cuttings from one particular plant in that pot, and that was the red Petunia. And the reason is, I want to make sure that we're getting exact genetic clones of one plant so that all of these little clones have the same genetic potential. That way, when we get ready for the experiment with the fertilizer, we're going to have all the same genetic potential with each of these cuttings. Then we're going to have a real scientific experiment going on here. Now I'm just finishing getting everything all set here and all these little cuttings in place. And then the final thing I wanna do is cover it. I'm using saran wrap here because that's what I've got. It just lets some light in, but maintains plenty of humidity throughout this little tote. Aren't those cute little cuttings sitting in there in their little place? Now I wanna label, of course, so you know when you stuck these. And then a month later, here we are. We've got all of our little clones all rooted up. So I stuck six of them total, and look at those little roots just filled out there beautifully. Looks like 
five of them rooted really well and you know every once in a while we don't get one to root but you know that's nature so on to the next thing now I'm getting all my little cups filled with soil. So I've labeled each individual cup with the different types of fertilizer or components of the fertilizer that I'm going to use so that I, I can keep everything straight here. I'm getting all these guys potted up. The soil I'm going with is the HP Pro Mix. Now, that's just some peat moss and some perlite all mixed up together. I bought that at a local garden center. Getting all these guys set up. Now, they're, these guys are in Dixie Cups, just so you're aware of that. And I did cut holes in the bottom because I know I'm going to get that question. All right, so now we've got all of our little petunia cuttings potted up, and I've labeled each cup. So we've got one little control here where we've got no fertilizer at all. Then we've got one with just Epsom salt, and I mixed one teaspoon of Epsom salt to one gallon of water, and there is the brand I used. It was just bought at the grocery store. Then we've got... One with just miracle Grow, and there's the miracle Grow right there. Mixed up how they recommend one, I think it's a quarter teaspoon per gallon of water. And then one with just the mother plant, and there's the mother plant mixed up with one tablespoon of each of those parts, part A and B, in one gallon of water, just like they recommend. And then we've got one of Mike's Mix, and that is the fertilizer where I made the video previously and I uh, showed you guys how I water my house plants. So I've got a link to that up in the corner or down in the description below if you want to check that one out. So we've got them all set out here and we're going to find out once and for all which fertilizer does the best or if a combination of fertilizers does better or if we even need any fertilizer at all. All right, so today is March 20th. So this is what we've got going on with our little experiment now. I've got these guys all lined out and just so that you're aware, I didn't water them until two days ago since the first watering. I went ahead two days ago and you know, these guys were just little cuttings so they weren't really soaking up much moisture. It took all that time for them to dry these pots out. I went ahead and mixed everything up again the way it should be and then watered accordingly to the labels there. And it's kind of interesting to see what we've got here so far. So all of them look healthy at this point. And I, you know, anticipated that they would look healthy to this point, but what I think we're gonna see is the differences starting to emerge in these guys as the growth forms more and more. All right, so let's do a little quick update on these little petunia cuttings, get them under the light a little better there. So it's March 24th today, just a few days, I think, since that last little clip, and I'm already starting to see just an explosion of growth on some of them, and others are lagging behind. It's kind of interesting to see how this is working out. There's the, uh, the, the comparison at this point, and I think it's pretty interesting what's happening. So we'll come back and show you more as time goes by. All right, so here we are just a couple days later and you can see they're starting to flower out. Now, I just wanted to show you this real quick because they're starting to kind of pull away from each other in differences. It's starting to become more and more evident and more noticeable. They're all blooming beautifully. I mean, absolutely gorgeous red flowers. Every one of these was a clone off of the red that was in this little bunch of petunias right here. After trimming this back, you can see all those new leaves starting to leaf out right there. It's looking good, but I'm really curious to see here what happens over the next couple days because everything's happening faster and faster. This one right here with the Epsom salt is starting to lag a little bit more. This one with nothing is still hanging in there, but uh, and it's even got a bloom that's just starting to open up here probably by tomorrow, but they're not doing too much. They're kind of lagging behind these other ones, and it's just interesting, this miracle grow growing better stalks, but the leaves aren't as deep a green, but they've got lots of buds coming out. Then you've got the one with the full mix here. Lots of green. We've got lots of buds starting to come out. One of the blooms already. But uh, the stalks are shorter, kind of interesting. Then we've got the mother plant. Stalks are shorter, but not as full when it comes to leaves. Anyway, wanted to show you guys that in a few days here, actually a week here, I don't know, whenever it happens, I just want to see how long it's going to take here. These guys are really starting to pull away from each other in differences. I'll come back when there's something to show you. Until then, here we go. All right, so here we are, guys. I think we've just about proven our point here. We've gotten these little petunias to grow on as much as they're going to grow, and they've kind of separated out. We've got quite a few differences between all of these. Let's take all of these outside under some natural light and see exactly what we've got. 
All right, so I really enjoyed making this one, doing this little experiment. Are you guys ready to see the final results? Let's take a look. So let's see what we've got here. First of all, you notice these balloons are absolutely gorgeous. I'm so glad I did this experiment with the red flowers because they are beautiful. That was the comment I got. A real experiment on your fertilizer, on how well it does, would be your fertilizer versus nothing being done. And there's the comparison. I mean, it just doesn't compare. Now, this little guy took off, he rooted, and he started growing. He's got lots of roots down in there, but you can see the plant, it's just, you know, it's got a nitrogen deficiency. It's got all kinds of deficiencies. There's nothing in it, but it did bloom. It put on some beautiful little blooms. I don't know where this will go from here because these are beautiful, and this guy is a clone, same way this guy is a clone of the Mother Red. And so this has all the potential this one has. I'm going to start fertilizing this and get it up to par with this guy because I want to give him to my wife. But you can see the comparison. Now, here's my mixture of fertilizer in that video I showed you before. Go click on the link in the description if you want to see it. But isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? Look at that. Another little bloom coming out. Another little bloom. There's blooms all over. That's going to be a flower. That's going to be a flower. That's going to be a flower. Look at this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, let's do some comparisons here. So, if we go back here, let's start with nothing, obviously. This guy didn't do too spectacular. It's putting on some blooms and it's doing something, but it didn't do too spectacular there. But then we got just Epsom salt. And that's all I put. A teaspoon of Epsom salt in one gallon of water. And it did pretty much the same as the one that absolutely nothing was put in it, but just plain water. It's got about the same number of buds. Actually, maybe it's got a few less buds, and that might be because there's just too much salt in here, and it's just hampering the root's ability to absorb whatever is in there that it could get that it does need. I don't know, but they pretty well compare as equals. The one that has just Epsom salt and the one that has nothing. Now, let's take a look here at the miracle Grow. So we've got nothing versus miracle Grow, And you can see, in fact, we know what the nothing looks like. Let's get that out of here. Let's compare it to mother plant. So this was just the mother plant. So it's a real low uh, nitrogen. It, all the nutrients were low in this particular fertilizer. It's really meant to just keep plants alive through the winter. But you can see the leaves grew just big and beautiful and lush compared to the miracle Grow. Now the miracle Grow grew taller stalks. It's got more stalks, looks like more flowers, more little terminal buds here creating flowers at the top, but the leaves are a little smaller, not quite as lush. They're green, but they're not as big and bold and beautiful. It, it, the miracle Grow really encouraged those stalks to grow well. Lots of root growth as well. Plenty of root growth with the miracle Grow. We've got plenty with the mother plant. Actually, if I turn around, we got even more. So the root growth is pretty comparable. But that's mother plant versus just the miracle Grow. And now for the grand finale. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but you know, if I don't, then nobody else is gonna do it for me. But there's my fertilizer. And when I came up with this, get these guys out of the way. When I came up with this, I really looked at the formulation of all these individual uh, fertilizers here and that's how I came up with this and it seemed to work pretty darn well so we've got mother plant that's got more leaf growth shorter squattier plant nice little blooms several blooms on it coming out it's looking good it's doing well then we've got the miracle grow with not as big a leaves but the stalks are doing real well more flower buds and then we've got my mixture of the mother plant the miracle grow and the Epsom salt in the back over there. The combination of them is kind of doing, let's get this back here, it's kind of doing something in between these two. So the stalks are a little bit taller than on just the mother plant. The leaves are a little bit bigger than on just the miracle Grow. And I'll tell you guys, I kind of was hoping that the miracle Grow would do the best because then I wouldn't have to go and mix my mix every time I want to fertilize my plants, but I'm telling you, it just worked. It works really well, and I think I'm going to continue on with that mixture of fertilizer. Once again, if you haven't seen it, go click on the link for that video. I'm going to continue on with this one because look at how beautiful it's doing. Tons of flower buds. We got one, two, 
three, another one coming up there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, we've, thirteen, we got lots of, fourteen, look at that, little trio right there. We've got lots of flower buds on this, beautiful leaf growth, beautiful stalks, plenty of roots throughout this thing, and it's just growing really beautiful and healthy. And you saw, these are all clones of the same exact petunia, so they all have the same exact genetic potential as each other. So there you go, guys. Mike's mix turned out to be a beautiful little mixture, a beautiful little fertilizer, and I'm not saying it's the only fertilizer that you could use or that you should use. What I am saying is that compared to the what the, is in this mixture as individual components, it worked out absolutely beautifully and I think is a wonderful combination of all of them up there and just produces a wonderful beautiful little plant with awesome blooms I mean look at that little guy so like I said before I hate to brag about myself but <laughs> nobody else is gonna do it for me well anyway I think we've brought this one to a head we've come to the end with this I'm gonna go ahead and fertilize all of them now with just the regular mix thank God I'm not gonna have to mix up all these individual gallons of stuff to keep this thing going any longer we've seen the results so I'm gonna make every one of these equally as beautiful now and then I'm gonna hand them off to my wife and I'm gonna let her plant them right out in front at the front door so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you learned something from this right now today have a fantastic week, guys. Oh, yeah, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along and see more awesome plant videos. Once again, have a fantastic week. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.